Hello everyone out there, welcome back to the Meandering Conversations podcast. I am here joined by the... Bryce. By the Bryce? By the Bryce, yep. We are now the introducing... Big, big Bambino. The Bryce! So how's it yep, been? it's Bryce and the... That's a rare form. That's what Tana's nickname is. Okay, I'm big. bleeping that. The big Bambino. The big Bambino. What the fuck is that from? Um, so they call Babe Ruth in the Sandlot. Oh yeah, Babe the big Ruth, Bam- the big Bambino. Oh, the hey yo, Smalls, we got the big Bambino here. Why are we at town? Oh, I don't think the Smalls were small. <laughs> His dick was small. Yeah, that's why Smalls was called Smalls in the Sandlock. His dick was small. And he needed to go over the fence to prove that he got some big dicks. He purposely threw that ball back there. So then he could fuck James Earl Jones in the ass to get his ball back. When he's not trying to bite me, you fucking piece of shit. James Earl Jones go. was like... Go to bed. Go to bed. James Earl Jones was like, uh... Yo. Is that the big hole? Dude. Yeah, that's James. That's the voice of Darth Vader and Mufasa from The Lion King. Yeah, I got my dog out here so they don't try. To, so the white folk don't try to kill me again. Yeah, and then I fuck you in the ass if you disrespect me. Is he supposed to be blind in that? Uh, uh maybe. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. I haven't seen that shit in years. Yeah, and then Sandlot 2 is the exact... Yeah, I watched the first... Sorry. Oh, yeah, there was a sequel. It wasn't, isn't what, there's some bitch? There's some yeah, pussy or something? it's the exact same plot, but girls are in it, and instead of a ball, it's a rocket. A model rocket ship. Okay, I mean, and somehow I'm James gonna... Earl Jones is still alive. I don't know when Sandlot 2 is yeah, going to take into, place. It goes into James Joan Earl's ass. James Charles owns ja- ass. I watched the first half of the original Candyman. I tried watching the new Candyman, and I just the characters were too gay. I didn't connect with them at all. I like the '92 one though. Yeah, '92 one is good. Last night I watched. Uh, Thank you for smoking. Where did I put it? And and I I'm, I want to watch. I think I want to watch American Werewolf in London. So it's on. It's on Peacock, and we have Peacock out in our living room TV, because the curled roommates find into everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, uh, as I was saying, uh... Why did I turn on when I went in the fucking bedroom? What the fuck? What there's the a fuck? David... There's a David Harbour, I think, Santa Claus killer movie coming out. Santa Claus horror movies. Christmas horror movies... Good. Um, yeah. Uh, what was that? That Klaus? Klaus? What the fuck was that? Krampus? Yeah. Krampus? Yeah, cream pie. <laughs> what? Is Krampus that? just sounds like a pussy. Krampus sounds like Kiri Kramps. <laughs> I got some Krampus, Krampus to deal with. <laughs> I got period cramps to deal with. But no, uh, there, there's actually a really good one that I've heard of called Better Watch Out. I don't want to spoil it because there's a really... Is it just movie. like a Santa Claus killer? Uh, no, there's something actually very... There's like a very good twist in that movie and I don't want to spoil it. Okay, good point. You don't need to spoil it. I do recommend it though. But no, so uh, last night I watched uh, Thank You for Smoking, which is, uh, uh, it stars uh, Aaron Eckhart, the, the Harvey Dent from, uh... Oh, from Dark Knight? Yeah, and uh, it's, like, about him being, like, a, like a spokesman for cigarettes. It's like, a, it's, like, a comedy, and it's, like, very good because... Him as a character doesn't net, like, people ask him, do you think cigarettes are good? He's like, no, I don't think they're good, but you have to leave the choice up to the people whether they want 
to make that choice. Because it's all about, like, William H. Macy plays, like, a senator government who wants to, like, put a huge warning label, label on tobacco so people, like, don't smoke it. And, yeah. and Aaron Eckhart's, like, arguing against him being like, listen you can you can tell people pe everybody knows that cigarettes are bad but it's up to their choice whether to make them if you yeah, do this kind of, I, I feel that way about most drugs like honestly i feel like if somebody wants to do cocaine you should just allow them to fucking do cocaine they know the risks adults consenting adults should be able to do it's like driving a car driving a car is so fucking dangerous but you're not going to know that somebody drove a fucking car yeah i mean yeah that he makes that argument he's like uh, a plane crashes and it's the pilot's fault. You don't blame the the plane. You blame the pilot. It's the same thing with the cigarettes. Somebody smokes too many and is dying. You don't blame cigarette. You blame the or person. You blame who... the cigarette. Yeah, but you should you blame, blame the, cigarette, the person, not the person that's smoking like every day. Yeah, they made the choice blame to Con smoke. You don't blame Constantine. The fuck does Constantine have to do with this? The whole the whole reason why he's working for God is because he's going to hell because he smokes cigarettes every day and that's technically suicide. And that's a sin. So he's going to hell. So that's why he's working for God and doing other stuff to try and get it. Dude, that is dude, that's the whole plot of fucking Constantine. That's why yeah. Keanu's literally always smoking a cigarette. So if he's smoking a cigarette, that means you die. You're going to hell. No, but, but it's because he's going to die from lung cancer. Which was self-induced. But that's bullshit. Like... <laughs> no, 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 yeah. God is stupid. I, I agree with you, but that's the whole plot. Of the movie. Okay. Not the whole plot, but that's like that's like why Keanu is doing what he's doing. Why his character. Why Constantine is doing what he's doing. Yeah, okay. I understand that. But no, I, I thought, it, thank you for smoking is very funny and a very good, like, uh, satire on this kind of stuff. I, I, I think it's an interesting film. Aaron, Eck, Aaron Eckhart is good in it. I think his performance is better there than in The Dark Knight. He's pretty good in The Dark Knight, though. Yeah, no. I, I, I don't think he's Two-Face. not bad. Is, yeah, but I feel like Two-Face in that, I'm not. When he's Harvey Dent, I'm more interested in him, but when he's Two-Face, I, I like it because I like the motivation and all the build-up to it, but it's like, do we really have to have him in this? Like, uh, I feel like, I love The Dark Knight, don't get me wrong, but I feel like so much is jam-packed into that movie that I do feel like it does get a bit muddled near the end. Uh, it just my opinion. Like we've definitely talked about Dark Knight a million times. We this. haven't talked about in this context, okay? Fair enough. I guess we haven't talked about this exact character. Exactly. Okay. Two Face is always a character in Batman that it's like, other than the Dark Knight. Oh, like... fuck me, dude! I forgot. Fucking sorry. I'm playing fucking Seed. I forgot Gaz can shoot through the fucking windows on the plane. That shit's yeah. gay as hell, dude. But as I was saying, I feel like other than the Dark Knight and the Batman animated series, at least Two Face's first appearance, I really don't give a fuck about that character and anything else. Which is weird because he can, he's almost more of an interesting character than fucking the Joker to an extent. Like, or he could be based on because he's like a politic. He's a politician. Who, might, like, who, depending on the depiction, either gets his face dismorphed and then goes mad. I feel like what they do in the in in the animated series is interesting, where he has like a split personality and he like gets in an explosion, which causes half of his face to look like that. Does he like? Does he like argue with himself in that version? Like he he switches between like a like Harvey. That's very sensible. And then he switches to, like, an alternate personality he calls, like, Big Bad Harb, where, like, he's a lot meaner. And a dick. I don't know. There, I wouldn't say that when he's Two-Face, he, like, switches back and forth. Like, in, uh, doesn't he do that in, like, the Arkham games, where, like, 
he switches back and forth between I, Harvey I'll, and Two-Face. I played a little bit of those games, but I definitely didn't play enough to, like... Well, because I remember in the Catwoman, when, in the beginning of Arkham City, when Batman rescues Catwoman, he's, like, arguing with himself. Yeah, I don't... I, that was so long ago when I used to play those. I used to play that on the Xbox 360. Yeah, Arkham... I just remember the combat just being kind of button mashy because what because you just would like press one button to like to like counter and then the other button to punch. fuck do you mean you play fucking smash bros that is button mashy okay stuff. there's more you got, i'm sure if you played it i'm sure if you played it there's probably combos there. it's like more combat to me it was like very button mashy but there's i'm sure if you well, learn the combat, game you actually gotta think because people can block people can block and then you can string your combos together to get more damage in on the player guarantee if you played Dar arkham enough i think i recently tried Doing... arkham knight is that the one the 360 one that we had or was no, it no arkham knight is the third one and you get to ride around in the batmobile and it's like scarecrow's pretty much reenacting his entire plan from the dark knight where he tries to like poison half the city with fear gas um, I feel like I don't also Yeah, like... I played what? Arkham City? Yeah, Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. Arkham City is just the fucking plot of fucking Escape from New York. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they he just turned the part of the. But he, but doesn't, the he, ghetto. Like, doesn't Hugo Strange like frame Bruce Wayne to where he goes in there or something like You son of shit, dude. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Mark Hamill voices the Joker in those uh, games. Also, yeah, the Joker like... is pretty good. He's a good character in that game. Where, like, the Titan virus is poisoning him or something like that. Sure. I don't know. Well, because... You're saying all this stuff, but, like, dude, it's been so... Yeah. I also feel like the Scarecrow is a character that I don't give a fuck about in every depiction that I've seen. Actually, there's one depiction that I like him in... It's in the fourth season of the Batman animated series where uh, they had a style change and everything like that. So the entire show got like a restyle and everything because the Superman animated series came out around that time. So they retconned the other three seasons. So now that it's taking place and the art style changed and they gave him a fucking cool ass design in that version. Hold on, let me send you it. I'll have to look at it after this round. He's also voiced by uh, Jeffrey Combs, who you haven't seen Reanimator, right? No. Uh, he plays Herbert West in that. I'm trying to think of what you would know him from, but I don't think you've seen anything with him. Uh, with him in it. And the hours pass. Yeah, that that's honestly my favorite scarecrow just because of the design, because it's dope as shit looking. <laughs> I feel like when you when you adapt things to live action, you have to make it like fucking realistic. Yeah, or... it's pretty cool looking. Yeah, but as I was saying, I feel like when you adapt things to live actions, you gotta kind of just take all the creative imagery that you can do. Like, with the Scarecrow's look in Dark Knight... You know, but when a director takes something like Batman, they kind of want to make it their own. Yeah, but Nolan's Scarecrow well, like the is just a Riddler guy in a suit with a Batman, burlap sack Riddler, over his head. The Riddler in the last Batman is just the fuck... He's just wearing, like, militia. Yeah, no, like, that's what I was gonna say is my problem, is I don't like that either. <laughs> Where yeah, no, that's like, fucking... Where they have to realize the fucking, like, suits and stuff. Where I feel like the Burton ones, the Tim Burton ones, and even the Joel Schumacher's <laughs> ones, just went for fucking broke with the designs. And to be honest, they look like the characters. I like the Joker from Dark Knight. Yeah, the, jo the Joker... The Bane's the... not bad either. Yeah, Bane's not bad. I don't mind the voice. Catwoman's know. kind of stupid. Isn't she doesn't she... even look like a fucking cat. Fuck the cat, cat, Tim Burton Catwoman, though, is sick as fuck. I think. Yeah, no, and then same thing with, uh, um, the Joker I like, and even though I, li I think I like Ledger more, I still like the Joker in, uh, 
Jack we've Nicholson. talked. We've talked. We've talked about this. Yeah, we've definitely talked about this. But I feel like when when people try to like adapt things to live action, they have to make it look more serious than interesting looking designs. I feel like that's always the case. Cause with with the fucking the first Suicide Squad movie, Killer Croc, I don't I don't like his design in that. Like they just make him look so fucking stupid. In in the second one, they actually embrace the shit and like do Starro the Conqueror and shit like that. Like I, I much prefer when films really try to embrace the broke instead of making it try to feel more grounded and real. It's like I don't give a fuck about that. Cause it just ends up being eh. I'm trying to think of another example of that, but it's it's hard for me to think. Taking creative designs and turning them to shit because of live action purposes. Also, uh, I've watched uh, another episode of Stranger Things season three. Still not. I, I really don't care about the ride. Like, literally, just cut out the Russian plot line, and I have no problem with that season. Do it. Did you see four yet? No, not yet. Mm. I know, I gotta watch four. You talk high. you think that's do you think that's the second best season? Cause it, four? It, yeah, it would probably four go like probably the third. You like two third more than season. four? Yeah. Mm, okay. Two I liked, I didn't love though. To be honest, I kind of realized something. I really do not give a fuck about Will. You don't like Will? Yeah, because he always feels like the odd one out, and even in 2, he's the main focus again, but I really don't give a fuck about him. And same thing with 3, I don't give a fuck about him. I don't know. What, I feel like... I like the adult characters way more than the kid characters. Yeah, because I like David Harbour as... Huh. I honestly like the, the 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 one bitch's boyfriend in the second season. I don't mind him. Uh, the the Steve Harrington. Bill Billy is probably one of the best characters in the show. Mhm. Mm He's kind of. I like ass. Billy a lot. I feel like. No, I feel like bad, having does, sometimes sometimes bad characters kind of like evil characters are some of the better characters. Those are way more challenging to. Yeah, I know. In body, I feel like. But I feel like the problem with him in 3 is that he is taken over by the Mind Flayer, which, are we supposed to tell a difference? Because he was always just an asshole. He's just more of an asshole now. But I taken... feel like that kind of blends in with his personality in a cool way. Yeah. Because I made it to the one like where he's already to get he's the already of the Mind Flayer inside of him through the sauna room, and he's like begging Max to help him. But if that's actually him or not, because the Mind Flayer uses it as a trick to try to break out, so I don't know. <laughs> My suspension of disbelief was kind of broken where Eleven fucking throws him through a brick wall and he gets up and starts running. I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> yeah, like, so you're telling me that the Mind Flayer also enhances the human body? No, I don't remember that being in... Well, that that has to be it. If you're thrown through a brick wall, dude, you, all the bones in your body would be fucking. You would be dead. <laughs> yeah, you'd be dead. Yeah, you were thrown at the a pace or at a speed fast enough to break you through you would, layered also, cement. Also, that wouldn't brick. happen. A human body would not be more durable than a brick wall. Yeah, the brick wall would win that fight. Regardless, he would, he would just splat on did. the wall. That's what would happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True. I yeah, why are we like, even arguing? I feel like that's always just a stupid thing in movies where, like, a guy gets thrown through a wood wall and just gets up. I feel like a wood wall is. I mean, dense. wood wood's one thing. You could throw people through pretty easily. You could Again, definitely punch a hole through fucking drywall or even like a plywood. But, like, yeah. bricks are an entirely different fucking... 
Yeah, but people getting thrown through fucking brick walls, like... <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. You can't do that to brick walls. I'm talking wood walls. You could easily fucking throw. Yeah. You could throw... I, I could punch a hole through my plastered fucking walls. You would probably break your hand, but you could. I would hurt my hand, but I would definitely break the fucking wall. Fair, fair. I mean, you would really have to hit it hard, but yeah. If it was a brick wall, though, yeah. I could punch that thing until my fucking hand is... Baloney. It's gone, yeah. <laughs> Where did full of baloney come from? I don't know. Okay, it's bye. a log nut. Well, isn't it full... Full of... No. Baloney... Origin. Yeah, I'm just got killed by... Killed by a vigil. If you tell your friends a unicorn on roller skates ate the last cookie well, and she tells you you're full of bologna, the word bologna I'm comes from the here. sandwich meat bologna, which is typically That's made fair. of scrap meat. Bologna came... In around 1920, bologna came <sighs> to mean nonsense and also known as described an unskilled boxer. You also, you actually looked it up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting in front of a computer, okay? I'm not just looking at porn right now. I'm looking up Siege, which is way more enjoyable than porn. Oh, that's debatable. Master debatable. Master debatable. <laughs> the master debatable. <laughs> That would just be, dude. If if I was a part of the debate team, that's what I would. <laughs> the leader of the debate team, I'd be like, "Okay, guys, you must." Hannah, you're master. doing a bit that I did. What? The master debater. Ha 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 ha! Good bit. It's a real original one. I've heard millions of people say that shit. Okay. Don't. You're care. a hack. You're a. I haven't heard anybody make that bit before. You've never heard somebody make the master debater joke? No, I literally have not. <laughs> that shit is like zeitgeist. In the zeitgeist. All right, well, good joke, Tan. I'm glad you, you're just as great as a bunch of other 13-year-old boys. You fucking cut your dick off and shove it up your ass. You master debate it? Hi, <laughs> Mally. Come here. <laughs> Molly! Molly, Molly, you fucking come here, or else I'm gonna rape yeah, you on the fucking, ass. You fucking slag. God, fu stop mentioning slags. Why does this have to be the theme of that, That's gonna be the name of our, if our, if our watchers, like, what do you call it when, like, a fan base has a name for themselves? The <laughs> slags. Because, like, we're gonna call them... by its bros, we're gonna call our slags. Yeah, welcome, you fucking slags, into the Meandering Conversations podcast. You're fucking kidding me, bro. No. You're fucking kidding me. So yeah, I was trying to think of some sketches for us to do, and all of mine are just way too fucking complicated. Because I came up with the idea, like, aliens get rid of this device that they created that... If yeah, no, you need to, Dana, you need to take, take like, your normal day-to-day -day life and find a way to make a funny... See, it's like, that's just boring to me. It's like... It's just boring, but, Tana, you do not have the budget to have aliens. Sorry. Yes, I know. It's creativity comparatively to that, and I know that... I mean, I was like, what if like, we do, do like, what's like... fucking Always Sunny, dude. All, first season, Always Sunny, dude. Their budget was probably small as fuck. Probably not. It's probably a lot more than I think it is. I always think that, like, oh, you could just make it with nothing. But then it's like, a pot, like, TV, a fucking, a fucking school costs a thousand dollars when you're making a TV show. Yeah. Yeah, imagine that type of shit. I don't know. The only sketch that I came up with that is maybe possible, for some reason I thought, like, for some reason a guy moves into an apartment and there's, like, a ghost in there that's, like, a un like an old-timey New Yorkan ghost that the, the guy can only see and he just pretty much is just, like, 
You know what? I don't want to go to the to the afterlife. Fuck that. This place is so much more interesting. That's the ability of my mind capability that I was able to think of. For the most simplistic sketch that I could think of. The only other thing was like, these guys are playing a fucking game and they get way too serious about it. Then it turns into like a whole fucking... Yeah, we've, uh, yeah, I was there and we came up with that shit. No, I'm not talking about the, the, the fucking overreactor gamers shit. I'm talking about, like, they play, like, the simplest of game, but they take it, like, so seriously that their whole lives are, like, falling apart or like, something like that. You know what I'm saying? They get, addict, they get addicted to it. It's like the world of war. Yeah, but, it, but I'm not saying it's, like, a complex, like, get video game. I'm saying it's, like, the simple, like, it's... Go fish. So it's like the the fucking tag movie. Oh fucking god damn it! We got original original plot maker Tana here. Some real original concept. Just kidding. No, I, we could do that. Well, as long as you it's can. Not tag. Pretty much, if you think of an idea, somebody has probably done it. But you can still make it creative by. Taking your own way with the plot. That tag movie. What, what if we do Jackass? Or we just go around sexually harassing people. That's never been done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or or another one that I thought was like kind of funny is where like these two guys accidentally murder somebody, but then one of them is clearly just a psychopath. So like they come, they interact with anybody, and he just is like they know, and then he fucking kills them. Who just kills everybody that? Yeah, like any. So it's like the end of American it. Horror Story or American Psycho. Well, okay, that's not. That's not kind of this. God damn it, Bryce! Why do you gotta compare everything to anything? So then I don't feel like my idea is good and it's unoriginal. I'm not saying that's not good. I'm just saying here's something that's similar to it. Well, yeah, but that it's like. All that, all that end scene, I do believe is in his head. Like, I don't, because he's like he's shooting at cars and causing them to blow up with like a single bullet. I don't think that end scene is real. Because that's the interesting thing. You could take the movie in multiple directions to whether it's real or not. But, but no, I feel like that would be funny. We're like. One guy is just clearly insane, and the other guy doesn't know. But they they both accidentally like kill somebody. They hide the body, and then like each time they come across a person, the one guy is just like they know immediately, and then he kills them. And then the other guy is just like, "What the fuck did you do, man?" And it's like he fucking knew about it. Then they both hide the body, and they're like on the run. And even if it's the smallest interaction, the guy is like, "They know." Rice. Yeah. You know, you oh, know yeah, they, that'd be good. Yeah. Or like they take the game super seriously, even though now I don't want to do that because you compared it to tags, so now I feel like it's just ripping off that idea, so <laughs> But it but it's at the point where like any idea or joke you think of has probably been done before. Like Not jackass sexual harassment, but okay. Here, let me Google jackass. <laughs> no, I'm not typing that in. <laughs> well, wait. Do you mean like we actually sexual harass people, or we <laughs> fake? That yeah, we go around and no, we go around to random people. <laughs> We go around to random people and what? You, you suck their dicks. And just suck their dicks. Joke. Get on all fours and... and suck their cocks off. We suck their bloody cocks off. We suck their bloody cocks off. 
I don't know. You got any good sketches ideas? Because those are my ideas that I've came up with. Yeah, other than jackass sexual harassment. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no. Sure if I'm sure if I riffed hard enough, I could fucking think of something, but... Um, See, I, got it in there right I now. feel like if we do a sketch, the first one I want to try, it's like, I don't want to try writing comedy for it. I just want us to improv and see how that goes. <laughs> so we want to do something simple enough to where we can just improv most of the dialogue. Yeah, we could probably set like a base plot. See, that's what I'm saying. With that, with the, with the people taking like a simple ass game like Go Fish... We could easily improv that. Or the, the fucking ghost New Yorker from the 1920s haunting the one guy. I feel like that would be funny. The murder one, I feel like that one would take a bit, right? Yeah. Because we would need more people to do that. Same with jackass sexual harassment. Kind of, why do you want to do that one? <laughs> were you it's just funny. Thinking, were you thinking of jackass and sexual harassment? I was like, okay, well, let's combine those two things. No, I actually got it from some town, so honestly, I'm a hack. You fucking bitch. You say that I'm a fucking hack for, for making a fucking master debater joke and you fucking steal a bit from cum town and try to pass it as your own? fucking baker here yeah but i do i remember though the the saturday the 24th i took off that day so we could film something so we need to think of something all right i'll do my best i mean i have ideas i'm bringing ideas to the fucking table here I feel like I got some nothing. of my ideas are good. We could also do the, the only... We could also do the overreactor gamers bit because I still feel like that would be funny, right? Yeah, I think it'd be funny. <laughs> Dude, it still reminds me of that when we were trying to fix your PS4 and we thought we you fixed it. Like. I kneeled down on the ground and mimicked like I was sucking your dick because... I started raping the cat. Yeah. See, like, doing something like that for the overreactor gamers, I feel like that's funny. Like, they just they just take it to new levels. We discussed this bit, but I feel like that, that would be easy to do and really fucking funny. Like... Or am I wrong about that? We could do like a knockoff commercial, <laughs> for like a shitty product. Yeah, like what? <sighs> trying to think. Like a oh, like a razor to shave your balls, but it also kills all your sperm. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> what, what would that be? <laughs> we have the. Ball shaver ninth. I don't know. It makes you impotent. That would be funnier. It uh, it, it it takes your or your masculinity away. Yeah, like it but it's not. I estrogen. feel like it wouldn't be like a razor. You need like it's like a laser hair hair removal. Laser ha laser hair removal for your balls, but it also gives you estrogen. Yeah, like, it, it irradiates your testosterone out of your body, so you just turn super infeminine. I feel like that would be funny, but I feel like we would be doing, like, gay voices and that, then people might take offense to that, but it's a fucking joke, so. So, lick my ass for all I care. <laughs> right? I love when I'm playing video games and then random people are in the chat and then it's like some like 40 year old black dude and he's like hey yo what's up anybody got a mic and then it's just some little kid like 
Yeah. <laughs> The, the the product commercial we could i feel like that would be like a whole series we could do of just like product placements because that's what i want to try to do i want to try to like start a sketch series that continues from an idea but it like it still is connected if that makes sense yeah so like it's hard to fucking it's hard to make stuff now like shit when you don't have like actual good equipment what do you mean i have decent equipment you jackass yeah but not like studio level equipment well yeah the fuck do you expect i work at a fucking grocery store okay sorry if i don't have the end all be all for fucking equipment no it's fine it's still like at work i'm just saying well, that's what I'm it's saying. Like is we do we do like a bunch of infomercials for like the same company of like useless items, but it like slowly diverges and makes it like even more crazy. But then like <laughs> we like get arrested from the cops or some shit, like that kind of shit. Like we make such bad products that people are like fucking hunting us down for like death warrants and shit like that. Yeah. But I'm saying that's later down the line. We keep advertising this stuff. Me and Ryan had a funny ass bit in the car back from our basketball game. What? And we were like, it's like this guy who's like, who like, she's like some, some, he's, some girl's like suing him for something because he like, was like on their, their, their social media platform or something. Right. Mm-hmm. And he's like, and he, he was like breaking guidelines and she's like, read the fine print. And then he's like, Damn, girl, you got some fine ass print. <laughs> and she's like, "Sir, we're suing you. Like, you, you, you've been sexually harassing people online. <laughs> like, <laughs> what made he's you like, think girl, of this, <laughs> girl? You try to like, he's like trying to hit on her and say he, he takes fine ass prints. Like, as like, yay, girl, you got some fine ass print, girl. I think I'd like to take you out to eat. I don't know why we." We started riffing off it, but it was so funny. Yeah. Fine ass print, but taken or, literally. To be honest, you know, it would be kind of like a meta textual thing. We What's do that? Like, we do like dudes trying to think of sketches, but they like slowly just get more offensive and racist with the sketches. <laughs> like. <laughs> like. They start off innocent, but then they just start going, like, worse and worse and worse. No? Okay. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Yeah, like, you you start with, like, people just doing, like, as we said, like, they're discussing, like, what if we do, like, an infomercial thing where we do something that, like, makes your hair a different color, and they do that, and it's like, oh, people are saying that this isn't funny, man. We gotta We gotta really go for that edge humor like we do shit like that and in each different sketch they plan like a different sketch inside the sketch that just slowly turns more and more offensive it's, it's as just, the more the more you're talking the more it just reminds me of a shitty episode of rick and morty okay because <laughs> you gotta do the sketch inside a sketch and then like the sketch like you like fucks them in the ass okay <gasps> okay bad idea. no 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 we could we could we just need to make sure we don't go over meta, because then it's just like... Well, no, I'm not saying we... All I'm... Bryce, I'm not saying we go over meta like in Rick and Morty. All I'm saying is that in... In the sketch, or even just a series that we make, these guys are us practically trying to make sketches, but it's not like their sketches are about making... About people making sketches. Like, I'm not trying to do that. All I'm saying is that these guys are making normal sketches but they slowly diverge into more like offensive or just worse material you know what i'm saying yeah that's, yeah that's what i'm saying i'm not saying we go like super meta where it's like sketch inside of sketch inside a sketch that's not what i'm saying i'm saying we just do like what we're doing now planning sketches but we maybe show a clip from the sketches that they're planning in the thing but it it they start normal, but then diverge to worse shit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't think that's a creative idea? No, yeah, that'd be funny. Exactly. See, I feel like... 
our creative, me and yours creative process when we try to think of things, it starts off with me with a few ideas that are just basic, but then you think of one idea and then I expand on it. Does this make sense to you or no? Yeah. Because I feel like you, you, unlike me, I try to think of more, I really try to think hard and like to try to make, because there's so much pop culture going inside of my head. Yeah, I don't overthink it. I just think of the funniest thing that pops into my head and I'm like, that'd be pretty funny. (laughs) Yeah, fucking estrogen laser hair removal thing. Damn, girl, you got some fine-ass print. So, yeah, I, I think we can start with either we do the Damn, infomercial girl, thing. Damn, girl, you got some or we try to go with, fucking print. Or we try to go Damn with the other. Damn, girl, you trying to sue me? Damn, girl, I'll sue you all night long, girl. Bring that fine-ass print over here and we'll fucking chop it up, bitch. So, so next Saturday, do you want to try doing either the infomercial thing or the sketch thing? Sure, we'll try. So, well, because the sketch, the sketch, we'll try thing, some fine ass print. The sketch thing is pretty simple because it would just be like us sitting at a table discussing things, and then you maybe get some footage of us like filming it. That's the point that I'm making: is that we can do it simply, and it wouldn't be too arduous or anything like that to produce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because as long as we try to make it more creative and just funny, it doesn't matter your budget. I mean, you can have a shitty looking film, but if it's funny to me, I don't have a problem with it. Like, <laughs> like an example, the first se- series of Always Sunny, they don't have the best of filming techniques or anything, but it's funny as shit. Like, Yeah, Always Sunny first season, I'm going to have to give that a rewatch. It's funny. I've I mean, rewatched that. I've rewatched the, that show so many times. The gang gets. I tried watching her. Hmm. What? Doesn't I mean it's funny, but it's like it's just not as good as Always Sunny. I think Always Sunny's humor is more of my. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, I like Seinfeld. Like the first step- I thought I wasn't gonna like Seinfeld because it's sitcommy, but to be honest, the the show is fucking funny. Like. Yeah, it's funny. Sometimes the yeah, like the bits just get kind of like overplayed out. But they hold like... on to things a little too long. Yeah, yeah. I feel like always is very adaptive and like they're constantly getting into new shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And bad. the characters are way the personalities of the characters are so they're such awful people that it's so funny. I mean, Seinfeld. like Seinfeld. Seinfeld, you feel a little sympathetic towards some of the things they're saying. Like, they're not complete piece of shit. Yeah. They're just, like, kind of self-centered. But, they're, like, they're literal sociopaths and fucking no. The dentist <laughs> system, the fucking... <laughs> they're literally just, like, yeah, they literally just, like... They, yeah, they, are... they, they think the world is another thing. They're poor, is their fucking stomping ground to fucking just... Do they just want anything they can... They'll take anything they can get and just fucking abuse it and... Mm-hmm. It's so and good. The weird it's thing so about good. Always Sunny is that it kind of does have like, even though it seems more like an episodic series where you don't need to see most of them, sometimes they do have run through plots with some things. Cause like, it, I guess it's more like set up. Oh well, yeah, they, jokes. Got, they have good plot points too. Like it's not. Cause like the thing with Mac and his dad and uh, um, who the fuck is that like priest that? Yeah, the priest that they turn into... I forget his name. They turn cricket. him into a drug addict. Uh, what is it? I rabbit? It's cricket. Cricket. It rabbit? Yeah. Some cricket. It's like definitely that. cricket. Yeah. But, like, it's like... Yeah, it's, the, it's his like plot line's set, funny as hell. Yeah, you set up, like, s- things that pay off later. That's what I also want to work on if we do, like, a series of comedy shit where we try to continue like pull back and do callback jokes that then pay off in later things i feel like that that's very important for comedy to land is that you try to set up things and like grow on them if that makes sense because the callback is very important to comedy 
Got my ass fucked. Yeah, you're by castles. Did you like by it? By castles shotgun. Did you like? No, no, right. You should play Siege. You should play Siege with me after this episode. <laughs> Whatever. I got. You're just ass. so fun, dude. I got my ass blasted out by a shotgun. Bam! Stop stunking my dink. Dink. Dude, I love come town. God damn. <laughs> That's so funny. Did you, listen, did you listen to the Jackass episode? No, I didn't. I don't want uh, to talk about so other funny. podcasts on my podcast. Some of the best bit, the best come down bits are about Joe Rogan. Yeah, fair. Joe Rogan. It's meta, dude. We're a podcast talking about podcasts. Inside of another podcast. Yeah, and we exist in a microverse that is has, was made up inside of here. Inside podcast. of a battery to make power for another battery to <laughs> the power of vibrator that goes inside uh, my my pussy. <laughs> Your pussy. <laughs> See, I feel like doing that doing that battery thing. That... <laughs> what? I mean, the, the episode where the car. Yeah, with the micro battery. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like the B plot with the car killing all the people, and then it's making the guy's dead child. Yeah, it's <laughs> like <laughs> just... it's fucked up. Yeah, I we still haven't seen season six yet because it's out. Yeah, well, some episodes. Are yeah, out. I I'm interested in watching it. I still think the show is relatively consistent from where it started. Yeah, it's just the. I feel like there's like ice around it's fucking. Yeah, the fucking fandom for Rick and Morty, I fucking hate. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst fucking people. But that's anything that's good. There's gonna be a group of people that are just like. Too way too. Fun. It's like Marvel, dude. People are like, get their. People like know all there. And it's like. The movies are fine. I feel like. Not my cup of kind of blown over right now. Not a lot of people are giving a fuck about the Marvel. Yeah, I'm trying to think of good examples of things that people were just like stupid, like stranger Avatar, things. Even like Avatar, people think is like the fucking best thing. When I'm like, it's not even that good. The blue, blue people, yeah, the it's... Blue Arrow Avatar. No, Blue Arrow Avatar. The show is really fucking good. The movie fucking blows, but the show is really fucking good. I'm trying to think about it. People that were like really into like The Walking Dead and like I'm into zombies and shit. Like that shit. I feel like The Walking like, Dead, though. I've, I've never been interested in watching that show. It's it's always been just like, yeah, I hear it's decent, but it's like, I don't give a fuck about watching that. It's good. Yeah, but I feel like... I feel like that show's depiction of zombies, I'm not... We've talked about zombie depictions in the past, but that show specifically, I don't give a fuck about the zombies in the... Because, like, they're not the danger. The zombies are not the danger in that show. It's other people. I don't like that. The first season, the first season, they are. But it slowly turns into just, like, human warfare. Which, like, yeah, I guess that would happen. But I feel like if if you have the idea of a zombie apocalypse, I feel like it's a lot more interesting to dive into the people trying to survive against the zombies. Because that's why I'm watching it. I'm not here to watch fucking psychopaths. World War, World War Z is good at that. Yeah. We're, we're repeating bits so badly this episode. <laughs> no, we've, I went on like a 30 we minute definitely... tirade about sketches. <laughs> yeah, but now we're falling back into zombies and the Dark Knight. The we Dark definitely N- talked about half the the Dark Knight, though, we we approached it from a different perspective. We just didn't talk about the same shit that we usually talk about that. We tried diverging to that. Yeah, what if, like, um, he, like, fucked himself because he's two, has two-faced? Does he have two assholes, too? Shut up. Yeah. Well, you know what? I like zombies movies where they're about the people surviving against the zombies, like the classic Romero. Well, I guess in Romero, in Dawn of the Dead, you do have the scenes of, like, the biker gang. Yeah. It's fair. I'm not a big fan of the fucking Zack Snyder Dawn of the Dead, but I don't want to talk about that. 
That's the one with the boss. Yeah, and it's like they're sprinting zombies, which I'm fine with, but uh, it's just not as good as the original. I don't mind that one. Yeah. It's okay. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. The effects of the zombie baby are dead. <laughs> this, yeah. I mean, the effects on the zombies in the Romero movies aren't good. Like, they're green and blue for some fucking reason. He's trying to get pussy by showing her the fucking split that he makes for the chainsaw. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then like, they build it up so that when that scene happens, it's like, oh, dude, it's the callback from the fucking... Trying to get that pussy. would be the worst idea ever. If they have to shoot them in the head, what's the point of having a little hole that you can shove a chainsaw through? I feel like that is just more style over substance. I feel like that's a lot of shit. Mo- like, I feel like I'm over complaining about that because then in Mad Max Fury Road, why do you need a guy with a guitar and a flamethrower attached to it? <laughs> Yeah. But that I just think is cool, but that is... <laughs> No, I feel like there's a point there's a point for at least having that character and in and at least my opinion, I feel like the point of having that is to show like how these characters worship Immortan Joe and how like he needs to make up a huge showmanship about his like because that's a thing, right? In that movie where he's like, I am the great abortant Joe and I will... You know, I feel like that's a part of it. Right? Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, cool, chainsaw... Chain... 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 Chainsaw... No, not chainsaw. Guitar flamethrower. I don't know, I guess my opinion's different than... Yeah, your opinion sucks. You're right. It's like, well, style over substance is an important thing. Wait, no. Substance in my ass. Well, I'm trying to think of another example of that where it's just like, why the fuck do we need it? This in this movie. Why would that exist in this universe? I was going to say, what about the bat? Well, well, Going back to Dark Knight, I was like, the Bat Pod, why does that need to be there? But no, I see why that needs to be there. People bringing back mullets is disgusting. Yeah. No fan of the mullets, eh? I mean, like, a short mullet's cool, but, like, long-ass mullets. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like long-ass mullets are the thing. Here's another thing about style over substance. Why? Now, this is going to sound stupid when I bring this up. Is it just me, or does the idea of a lightsaber in a universe where ranged laser brace weapons is really stupid? Yeah, it's stupid. It'd be like bringing a, <laughs> like bringing a sword into Iraq and trying to kill people with and it. And somehow Jedi have enough focus to where they can fucking hit lasers... Which why probably... would you not give? Why would you not give the Jedi's who are like the best warriors just fucking assault rifles? <laughs> yeah, and let them go in and clean fucking. Well, a lightsaber no, we gotta... is, a, is a weapon for a more civilized age, and it's like no, it's yeah, not. that's why fucking Star Wars is gay. <laughs> Star Wars sucks. I'm sorry, but oh, says guy yeah. who says, oh, I like prequel. I mean, another, no, I'm just saying. Uh, no, I'm of... saying they're not bad. I'm saying they're not bad. No, all of Star Wars, I think overall, I'm not. I would never say that I'm a fan of Star Wars. I'm just. I, mean, I, I like Star Wars, but that's just my opinion. It's not. It's not as good as fucking people. Yeah, I know it's not as good as people make it out to be, but I still like it. Also, it's like I always remember in like fucking. Phantom Menace, they're like, they're no match for droidy cars. And why are those a counter for the Jedi? I Because <laughs> they have shield bubbles, but that doesn't make any sense because they don't, the Jedi don't have ranged attacks, so what would, why would droidy cars be... 
countered by them. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, how would droidicas yes. counter Jedi? That's that. That's the problem that I'm having here. Because I remember in like in Lego Star Wars, you would have to jump and then slam down with the lightsaber to break their shield. Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars is better than honestly, better than the movies. <laughs> also, I know, like, also, today, I think the gameplay is too. Yeah. Boring. Do, do you ever realize now. like how subtly racist Phantom Menace is? What do you mean? Why? He's doing, it, like black. Faces. No, no, because because you have the villains played by white guys who I don't know what accent they're doing, but he's like. We would never do anything to get the disapproval of the Senate. And he's like, we must disrupt they make up our an accent communications. A... What? If they're doing a specific accent, then maybe it's racist, but if they made one up. I don't think, I feel like that's an accent that exists. It's like, we must disrupt all communications. And they're like, we lost that transmission, sir. Mm, no. <laughs> Maybe. We would never do anything to get the disapproval of the Senate. The disapproval. The yeah, dis I don't know. I don't I don't know what accent it would be. Well, yeah, and then I have problems trying to figure out what Watto is supposed to be because he's like, I'm part Troidarian. Mind tricks don't they work on me. <laughs> Shmi, I sold her. See, I sold you... her a body. <laughs> I feel like, why do space I... characters just have to have the gayest names? Like, <laughs> Kundaburashka, Pupu. I am, uh, like, like an example, why do we need his name to be Qui Gon Jin? Like, <laughs> I know this is a. Because they're trying to immerse you. They're trying to immerse you with something that's. I Not guess so, but in the original trilogy, they call Obi-Wan Ben Kenobi, and you have, I mean, Leia Organa, I guess, is a normal name, but then you have a name like Luke Skywalker, like, that's just, Luke is a normal name. I guess as, I guess as you get into the, the, the second entries, you get more complicated names like that, because you get Lando Calrissian, which is more of what I would expect from, like... The prequels but in the prequels you have like on solo feels yeah. like normal but also isn't yeah but like in the prequels you get a guy named fucking captain panaka and then you get like rick Cole and uh who the fuck mace windu the black guy and then and then one jedi who's just in the background his name is yarl poof RL Poof. Yep, Yarl Poof. Yeah, well, we must destroy. But no, I feel like fucking laser swords make no goddamn sense. <laughs> it's just like, can't they develop a, a laser that shoots fast enough to where they the Jedi can't deflect the laser back? Because I remember in the Clone Wars, they have like fucking minigun laser shooter things, and it's just like. There's no way a Jedi can deflect that many lasers. Hate to tell you. Nah, dude. They're fucking defenders of the galaxy. They can... The Force lets them see. <laughs> do we have that bit, did we do that bit on the podcast where we're like, what, what, what if the, the Empire's good? Did no, we do that on the we, pod or do we no, do that off that pod? was after I turned off the recording where it was like, we were like... <laughs> You know, why does everybody hate the Emperor? We don't know what the people... I mean, they have better technology. They could probably cure more diseases and shit. Yeah, and it's like, how do we... Other than the genocide... No, but they're, I think the, the, the implication is that they're oppressors. I mean, sure, but it's like... We don't know. We don't see any of that. I feel like that would be, as I said in that conversation, I feel like that would be the more interesting thing to explore. But then at the same time, like, I don't care for the Senate talks in fucking episode one, so. Yeah, it's like the subplots of, um, or like the other things of, uh, the alternate endings of 
Star Wars. I Am Legend or whatever. Oh, yeah, where it's like a... Well, no, a I, more think interesting the, I, think the, I feel like the alternate ending of I Am Legend is better than the normal ending. But we've talked about that before. <laughs> Well, yeah, I feel like the dark side is way more fucking powerful than the light side of the force. They get force lightning, you can fucking influence the life of metachlorians to create life and stop people from dying, and it's like... Why doesn't the light side of the force have these abilities? Honestly, dude, I'll just side with whichever side has the better drugs. Has the better what? <laughs> drugs. I mean, what would you get? What would you get from the Jedi side, huh? You think you think Mace Windu and Yoda are Probably like up? some sort of weed. It'd be some sort of weed. Okay, then the then the Empire. The dark side would be some like fucking like crazy like industrialized meth that just makes you fucked. That's why the Emperor looks like that. He's just on meth. Yeah, he's just a crackhead. <laughs> the smoke. Smoking too much space crack. See that? That's just inhaling. It. He's he's just inhaling fucking cyber crystals or whatever the fuck the fucking kyber crystals. Light state. Well, the, yeah, whatever the fuck the, the kyber the, crystals. Yeah, sure, whatever. More gay shit. Well, apparently, uh, fucking. Well, what was that thing that I was talking about? I swear I was talking about my friends about kyber crystals where I was fucking arguing with them about something, but I don't remember what the fuck it was. You know what? I hate shows where they have to make a fake language. Yeah. That shit's gay. Like, I don't give a fuck, dude. To make, like, unjabati gabi da baba. You suck up yeah, like you in your big boomba. Star Wars tries too, hard, tries too hard in trying to make you fucking... Well, you would just prefer them speaking English? Yeah, sure. Or China, or Mandarin. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 I feel like that's a good place to leave off for this episode. Yeah, Star Wars could just... Everybody should speak Mandarin. I mean, isn't that pretty much what the Gungans are... They're supposed to be Jamaican. The Gungans are supposed to be Jamaican because they're like... Misa back, I'm a the Misa coming here. It's better than that here than that at the core. I fucking hate Jar Jar. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe down below if you did enjoy this. Make sure to share this with people. I would enjoy that if you guys want to uh, comment on any of the not repeated topics we had in this episode uh if you would like any for us to talk about anything leave those in the comment section and uh yeah bryce you have any final words to the fucking slags yeah i'm trying to kill some fucking cap can right now yeah, he's killing he's guys. killing cap can so he's playing siege you can tell he really focuses on this podcast uh <laughs> yeah i'm fucking you know what dude i'm not getting paid for this shit this is what you get <laughs> you get half paying attention bryce okay well yeah